You might be thinking, does your personality have to do with your genetics or is it more based on something like astrology? What does science say? The current consensus is that there is no concrete link that the season or month you're born in has an effect on your personality. However, a study peer-reviewed in the Journal of Affective Disorders found a potential link between temperament and which seasons of the year you are born in. In fact, this study goes as far as linking some potential psychiatric disorders. The study found there was a significant link between the seasons you're born in, your personality, and neuropsychiatric disorders. In this video, we will go over how when you are born may affect your personality. Seasonal changes. Very well mind author Kendra Cherry says, psychologists have known for a long time that the seasons can influence our moods, such as with seasonal affective disorder in the winter months. According to time.com, there are many factors that affect a baby's development as it grows within the womb. Nutrition of the mother, including diets that are poor in things like protein or vitamin D or C can affect brain, heart, or bone growth. Wintertime can cause seasonal affective disorder in mothers, which could lead to similar issues in the infant. According to the National Library of Medicine, a total of 2,962 college students were divided into four groups based on their birth season, spring, summer, fall, and winter and underwent a personality assessment using the Temperament and Character Inventory, TCI. Male participants born in autumn scored higher on the disorderliness, and those born in summer and winter scored high on extravagance. These indicate a relationship between the season you're born in and your personality. However, there is still ongoing discussion about how much of this is environmental. Studies in recent years have traced back the personalities of adults to the season they were born and found impacts of seasonal patterns. Here are Time's conclusions. Spring. Babies born in March, April, and May score high on hyperthymia or general optimism. According to a large-scale study of 58,000 people in the UK back in 2012, those born in May are more susceptible to clinical depression, but they're more likely to see the silver linings in things, which is great. Summer. Babies born in the summer may have some impact of being carried in the winter months of December to February, and they can be susceptible to mood swings, which are rapid ups and downs of mood. But that doesn't necessarily mean bipolar disorder because diagnosis of bipolar are lowest for those born in August. Autumn. In general, it turns out those born in fall not only enjoy low levels of depression, the lowest depression rates are in babies born in November, but they're also less likely to develop bipolar disorder the one downside to those born in autumn is a tendency to be irritable. Winter. Winter babies have various challenges, such as higher levels of bipolar, like their fall baby neighbors, schizophrenia, depression, and SAD. But there are some positives. Winter babes are less irritable than ones born a few months earlier in the fall. And according to a small study of 300 celebrities in 2015, people born in January and February are associated with out-of-the-box problem-solving and creativity. Scientists are still unsure why this happens. In your opinion, why do our birth months affect our personalities? Are there any theories about it? Let us know in the comments. Genetics and environment may have more of an impact on how someone develops than the month they're born in. Though there is limited research on how birth month relates to this. This doesn't mean that parents should try to have kids at a certain time of the year in order to aim for a specific personality trait. There are plenty of pessimists born in the spring and true blue optimists in the winter. And of course, your personality is defined by a lot more than just whether there's a lot of light or just a little when you're born. After all, we're shaped not just by nature or environment, but also by nurture, how we're raised, along with all the experiences our lives throw at us. Can you relate to some of these findings highlighted here? How does your personality shape up compared to your birth season? Let us know in the comments below and share your thoughts on this surprising topic. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with people who might also find this interesting. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.